Right, so like I was saying, this is a basic little whistle from Life Systems. I got some after bite here because I still get bit by annoying bugs. One hank of paracord there, my LED torch, and this is the Leatherman Wave. Mainly I've been using it um, the plier bit, and the knives are quite nice on that. I, know, I, I think I had one ages ago, but you get an option here of a serrated bit. And this one here, which I'm going to need to sharpen because I only just got it the other day. But quite a heavy duty nice one. I got a tactical pen from the prepper shop. I got a glass breaker, knife sharpener, and ferro rod with a scraper on it. That's Angler Arms. This one here I keep on me now too. It's a little bit of an overkill, but it's kind of a mix of everything you might need. So I packed it a little bit differently. You have a wire saw in here, and then on the top of the lid here, I taped some brass wire, a signal mirror, two bits of cotton ball, and a razor, and a book of matches is taped to the top bit. And then I have another bit of uh, cotton ball, I have some fishing uh, sinkers and hooks, some um, safety pins, a few tubs of these uh, Vaseline straws I made up with uh, cotton balls, a couple of water purifying tablets, some more cordage, a lighter, a little mini uh, torch, wind up one, a button compass, uh, there's another scraper in here pencil, uh, some um, first aid instructions, and a little sewing kit. And that pretty much kind of like a little bit of an overall bit there. Now when it comes to cutting tools, um, if I was going to carry one on me, um, besides the Leatherman Wave you have, my option would be the uh, Lansky one. This is the World Legal Knife. It's a really good knife. I've been using it for about two years now. And after the initial uh, sharpened it a little bit a while ago, but now it's just uh, on a strap a little bit and it's fine again. But it's really nice and it's not a lock knife. Just two clicks and it's done. And it's a really, really nice knife. Some say it looks a bit too tactical and a bit too scary, but the one after this is the orange one, and that one definitely looks a bit tactical and a bit off. This one's a nicer one out of the two for um, if you get stopped by the police or if someone questions your knife on you. But um, that's definitely a nice, good quality knife on that one. But yeah, this is what I carry on me now. Um, let me know what you think, if you think I'm missing anything. But I live in town. I don't live out in the woods in the sticks or anything. So... Uh, yeah, that's what I carry on me. I'm not going to go too nuts with it. Thanks for watching, guys. I just want to add a little bit to the end of this. Um, I want to know from you guys, the new preppers and bushcrafters and everything, is there a certain video that you want to see or, you know, anything else you want from the channel? And I will try to oblige by that. Um, just keep it friendly because um, I have my kids watch this channel and I, I don't want, like anything overly violent and stuff. I have a new project coming up. Uh, I've been working on some stuff, you know, for future videos and, you know, a bit, some other cool stuff coming up. But I'm um, trying to find some time to build. I'm gonna do a knife, how I shop with my knives. I'm gonna do a better video on that. I'm gonna do a crossbow video and um, some traps. So yeah, some more things are coming up, but uh, stay tuned. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Doesn't hurt the attacker because you can't really carry anything that hurt your attacker here. Um, what else? Ah, oh, do it again.